everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and today we're doing something that we haven't done in a very long time. That is giving you guys the latest up-to-date information about all the construction projects taking place here in the Wildwoods, and there's a lot. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So when I say that it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, it was sometime in the spring of 2021 when we stopped doing them because you guys were coming down for the summer. So you saw all of the projects that we talked about. And so I'm like, oh, you'll be able to see everything. But now that it's fall and construction is starting to pick up again, I wanna give you guys updates on everything that we've been talking about. And there's a lot of new projects that are coming down here, including new restaurants, a couple new buildings, and potentially a couple hotels. All depends on Cafres. But anyway, we're gonna start off here on the seawall because for a while now, we've been talking to you guys about the seawall repair that the Army Corp of Engineers have been doing. And if you look behind me, the crane is gone, the barge is gone, and currently, we're gonna go ahead and get the drone in the sky to give you a bird's eye view of what it looks like. To be honest with you, I've reached out for a comment on how much time is left on this project. No one ever got back to me, but it looks like from here that it's almost done. Anyway, let's get the bird in the sky. So there you guys go on the seawall repairs. As you can see behind, we're actually in a spot that used to be kind of cornered off. So I'm assuming that, once again, I don't really have a date when this is completed. I'm assuming that it's probably maybe 90% done. I mean, it looks like to me, all the rocks are in place. They probably have to do a little bit of concrete work, but that's about it. Anyway, let's continue to the next project. We're outside our next location. This is actually, the Star Diner and Cafe here on Maryland Avenue in Spruce. And I know it's not a construction project, but it's going to be something new for next season. Look over here. It's going to be the Marvis Pancake House coming spring 2022. This was just announced not too long ago. It's very exciting. You know, they have another location right when you come in the Rio Grande. So this is going to be the Pancake House and that's still going to be the Marvis Diner. Anyway, let's continue on. Now we're outside the Beach Creek Channel. And right now the city of North Wildwood has a project where they're dredging out part of the channel, the mouth of the channel, 13,000 cubic feet of material will be dredged out. Now I don't see any equipment out here yet, but according to the documents, it will be done around Thanksgiving. So the last week of November, as you can see, it's low tide right now. And you can see how low down it goes inside the channel. As far as I know, they're only doing the mouth, but, um, it's definitely something that is needed for this channel because this channel is used a lot with boats. Anyway, let's continue. Currently, we're in the North Wildwood Marina and behind me is the Marina Bay Towers. And currently, there's a massive project taking place here. We actually broke the story for you guys because it involves a massive tower, which would be here, a restaurant and kind of like a boat club over here, brand new condos and apartments. And so right now, Construction has started on everything. If you look behind me, you can actually see them working on this little building. This is one of many that's coming here. I'm assuming that that one is going to be the lighthouse because they're building, get ready for this. They're building, they're redoing the towers. They're building a new boathouse. They're gonna be building a new lighthouse and a guardhouse. And then they have the Ocean Bay Marina Club and restaurant. That club and restaurant is gonna be somewhere between this actual this tiny restaurant, I forget the name of what this restaurant was, between here and here, while the lighthouse will be somewhere over here. So I'm assuming that over there is going to be the boathouse and marina. On top of all of that, get ready for this, there is going to be a 12-story high-rise building which is gonna take place in that corner. But as promised, they can't build that until the towers over here get renovated and they build the other buildings. So that tower, we may not be seeing that until 2026. But this is what they're working on right now. It's gonna be really cool when it's done. And we'll be giving you guys updates throughout the entire process. For the fun of it, let's put the drone in the sky. So then that way, when the project's done, we can make a video of all the progress. So uh, let's do it.
old Anglesey Auto Repair Shop. And according to plans that were just submitted into North Wildwood, they want to knock this down and it's going to become condos. I feel like this building has been here since like the 70s. Do you know? Because I actually don't know that one. It has a very unique architecture here. They get the stonework. They tried painting it a few times. They get the garages here. And I feel like at one point they used to do gas here. Because if you look over here, you can see they have like where maybe, maybe they would have put pumps at. But uh, yeah, this building will be coming down shortly. And to the next one. Now we're at 18th and New York at the site of the original Bubba's. This thing has been here, I feel like, since what, like the 70s? Well, according to our information, this place is gonna get shut down and supposedly it's gonna get sold and probably turn to condos. And it's moving all the way down one block that way. Let me show you that place because this has been under construction for a while and you guys have been asking me, what is going here? I finally got the answer for you. It's moving right to here at 18th in New Jersey. I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't know this. They actually put the sign up this morning and I'm laughing because this was not planned. <laughs> so many people were asking me what was going on here and I literally showed up now and oh, well, now they put the sign up, but yes, this is going to be the new Bubba's Liquors like warehouse kind of store. So they're going to get rid of that location and strictly just be here and their location in North Wobble when you first come through on Spruce Avenue. But uh, look how big this thing is. Anyway, let's continue. We got a lot to do. And here is the Surf Motel. As you can see, they converted it from a motel. They rebuilt that entire section over here. And now it looks like they're what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. They're 13 different condos. I do miss that neon sign though. Anyway, let's continue. Now we're currently on Scallinger and Pacific Avenue because this is what I call the Mecca of all the construction that's taking place down here. We have three different blocks of construction. That's right. It's all coming through BG Capital that is pretty much taking these three businesses here. This was the Fairview. We also had on the other side empty bottles and in the middle, Second Street Annie's. They're knocking this down. It's becoming a four story structure where the first story or the first floor is going to be two businesses, probably the Woods, which was a club that was here and Pacific Liquor, both part of BG. The other three levels are going to be J1 student housing. Now that pretty much means anyone who's an international student could probably stay there and more than likely if you're working for Morris and other places, you can probably rent a place there. There really is nothing defined, but I know they have a contract with Morris. There's also going to be a second story pool deck, which I think is kind of going to be cool. I kind of want to check that out. It's going to be a little bar area with a pool. Now that's this project taking place over here. And as you can see behind me, they're knocking it down. Probably by the time this airs, it's going to be gone. And boy, was I right, because the next day they knocked down the first two levels of Second Street Annie's. And of course, on the other side, Empty Bottles is now completely gone. And since this video, they've completely covered the entire parking lot with dumpsters and got rid of everything on this lot. Now, if you want to watch a full video, we actually put together a drone video and everything else. It's probably the video before this one, so go check that out and then come back here. Now, on the other side, I want to show you, this is the Shamrock. We're currently in the process of, they're in the, currently in the process of actually moving that building from here to the other side behind us. This is going to be really, really cool. Hopefully that will be soon and we can get that on camera for you guys. Now, BG Capital is purchasing that lot and it's going to become a parking lot. And then on the other side, there's another building that they own. I'm going to walk over there real quick. You can see the Shamrock. It is currently lifted up. That's where the bar was. It's sad to see that it's gone, but it's completely ripped out. And they're going to move that down this street. This is also going to get demolished, just like this building over here and the pirate ship. Actually, I think the pirate ship is getting donated. Now we're in Garfield and Pacific Avenue, and it's literally right next to where the Shamrock is. PG Capital also owns the VFW, and they own this old restaurant here, which was converted into the wood, and the wood was originally moved from where Second Street Annie's is. So we actually don't know what's going here yet. They haven't submitted any documents yet. I'm assuming it's going to be condos. We really don't know at this time, but let's continue our tour. We got so many more properties ahead. We are also told that BG Capital, who owns this plot of land here to build 38 houses, this is going to get demolished sometime next week. So stay tuned for some videos. It's kind of weird to see that this entire block is going to be leveled, but it's going to be nice when they finally build those 38 homes right here. Now we're outside the Sinclair gas station or the future area that's going to be the Sinclair gas station. A lot of you guys have been asking me, what's going on here? This is supposed to be built by Memorial Day. What happened? Well, the last time I checked was about three months ago, and they had to pause construction 
besides getting approvals to actually get this built through the state of New Jersey through CAPRA, they paused it because construction prices were through the sky. Remember when wood at like Home Depot was so expensive? Imagine building a massive project like this and having to pay those prices. So, as of right now, that's kind of all I know about this property. Though, if you look at it, things have like kind of moved a little bit. They got rid of the house, and that had a ton of asbestos in it. So they had to do a whole thing with that. They cleared out and leveled off the ground behind it. So you can actually kind of see like a curve where like the building is going to start. And they removed another big tank on the other side. So construction has started again. When will we see things rise up? I don't know, I'm assuming in a few weeks, maybe a month, but I really don't know at this point. But anyway, let's continue to the next project. Now we're on Leeming Avenue and the boardwalk, currently actually at the brand new Pop House. Look at this thing. We've been covering this for now a year and a half, and I have to admit, I'm really excited for this project to be done. Now, you probably have a lot of questions. First of all, when is this going to be completed? It looks like December. It could be maybe early January, but right now, December. Does it work? It's actually been working for the past few weeks. And as you can tell, no flooding on the island. Now, how much of the project is actually left to do? Well, about 20% of street paving has got to take place. You can see over here all the grates down here. There's a couple places actually on the street that need to be repaved. And the best part is, if you come look on the beach, all the piping is gone. Look! No more pipe. No more exposed pipe from the pump house. No more stuff on the beach. All that's removed with the, with the exception of a few different pieces. There's a couple bulkhead pieces over here they sell off the cart away. And if you look straight down, these poles will be staying there. Okay, not the very end ones, but these main ones here. That way, whoever is on the beach, maybe they're raking or doing something like that, they know that, hey, there's a pipe here. Don't dig here. <laughs> we don't need people digging this pipe up now that it's underground. So um, this project, is, it's coming together and hopefully we'll do another review of this one, or at least a recap of this one in December and hopefully tell you that it's completed. Anyway, let's continue because if you look behind me, we're losing daylight. <laughs> now we're currently at the Taylor Scoop Park and if you look behind me, man oh man, it looks very, very different. Brand new swings over here. They ripped out and cut down all of these trees they added in all this brickwork. It looks like they're building up something. Maybe they're going to put some kind of a gazebo back there. But they also added in all this new equipment. As you know, the Crest right now is redoing most of their park. Sunrise Park just got done, I want to say six months ago, with the splash pad and all that. Well, here they have a brand new gym set for the kids. And I love the colors, by the way. This is totally the Crest colors. And take a look at this. It smells brand new, too. I actually don't think jungle gyms do that, but it looks great. I, I don't think this is a part of it, though. <laughs> I don't think the kids get to play on a tractor, though. That would be a lot of fun. But um, Chris is doing a great job. Anyway, let's continue. Now we're outside the brand new, well, it still says Ocean Holiday, but it's going to be the brand new Mahalo, a.k.a. the new brand from Icona. And as you know, it's been paused for about a year and a half now, and the update is it's still paused for... A year and a half now. Construction will start soon. The same thing that kind of happened with the Sinclair. It's just prices of things just jumped up so much. A lot of construction projects just kind of pause. And I know they're working on something else that's going to be really, really big on the island. And so right now this is just kind of uh, just kind of sitting here. Hopefully by next summer it's going to happen. And um, when it does happen, I want to get a room here because it's going to have its own water park. I know, right? Anyway, let's continue. We're almost done. And now we're at the former Singapore Motel. And man, oh man, have they done a ton of work here. The last time we were here, pretty much everything was ripped out. They did put the doors in, but this was completely see-through. I don't even think there was another story or even roof on there. And the other side wasn't even completed. But just looking at it, it looks gorgeous. They really did a great job. But let me go ahead and at least walk around the building for you guys. You can see in the very front, it looks like they added that suite, at least made it bigger. The pool looks like it's gonna get ripped out because you can see all that is kind of ripped already. We're adding in stonework. This lip is all brand new. This whole thing looks interesting because this was the office here. And they had ripped this all the way down to just the concrete. Jeez, it looks so good. Let's see what I'm looking at right now. The only thing that remains from when this was the Singapore were 
these things right back here. There's bricks, and I'm assuming those are gonna be ripped out as well. And so there you guys go. That is our October construction update taking place down here in the Wildwoods. I know there were places that I left out, but to be honest with you, we lost some daylight. But I'm so happy I'm able to share with you guys those projects so far. If there's a construction project that you want more information on, please let me know in the comment section. For example, I know back at Sunset Lake where the Bayview was, they're finally starting to build some houses there. So we can probably add that to our list next time. So you let me know in the comment section. And I want to send a special thank you out to my Patreons on Patreon.com. It's because of you guys were able to spend literally five hours today go around and film all of these things. And if you want to support this channel, there's a link in the description below. And thank you guys so much for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you guys on the beach. I'm actually going to go right now. I'll see you later. Bye.